Plus is a major international research and innovation project bringing together many participants from several countries coming from practitioner background and the research community. As crisis management organization, we are facing uh, operational challenges and that's why we need to constantly improve our performance since we are dealing with the highest value, which is human's life. And obviously, the new solutions could bring something extra to our performance. But the question is, what type of solutions should we use? It's a practitioner-driven scenario building. We are starting from their trial context, so in which uh, context they are working, operating from their gaps and needs. And then we look at socio-technical solutions because whatever piece of technology you have, it also affects the way how practitioners work. It has not changed only like from pen to a laptop, but you also have something like a different way of working. So we can use Driver Plus methodology to assess value added by modern solutions for international rescue and in crisis management activities. We are testing innovative solutions, tools, that will enable the ERCC, the UCP team and the EU response capacities or the modules to better coordinate, to better cooperate at a disaster scene. It's not only about trialing the solutions, it is also about trialing the actual driver plus approach, about methodology. Each of the trials is expected to feed the further trials to ensure that we are learning from the way we are approaching this problem. Here, on the, in the more severe case, it took people far longer to leave the city. At the end of this project, we have delivered five relevant outputs. The first one is the testbed. The testbed implies, on the one hand, the trial guidance methodology, so the TGM, then the testbed technical infrastructure and the training module as well. With the TGM and with the TGM handbook, you can find guidelines to set up a trial in a way which is structured and robust from the preparation phase until the evaluation phase. There was a heavy rainfall through a couple of days. There was the maintenance problem in the factory. With the testbed technical infrastructure, what you have is a technical infrastructure composed of a common simulation space and a common information space in which you can simulate a realistic scenario on the one hand and on the other, you can make several solutions uh, communicate with each other. In the portfolio of solutions, you can find the solutions that have been assessed in our trials, but also solutions which are external to the project. Our interest in the whole Driver Plus project was uh, as an external solution provider to be listed in the portfolio of solutions so that uh, a certain number of gaps uh, could be listed under our entry and be more visible to the crisis management domain and also get visibility at the EU level, of course. The sea mine is a good tool for us to utilize because uh, through the sea mine we get access to uh, a wealth of contacts and we can rely on the whole community. It is an online community platform linking experts, networks, practitioners and initiatives. All Driver Plus outputs are freely accessible to everybody. To support the application and implementation of these products, we are creating centers of expertise. A center of expertise is the primary contact point for practitioner organizations at a national or regional level, supporting them in the innovation management and their capability development. It can also maintain and update the Driver Plus products and share lessons learned and experiences between the centers of expertise in various countries Practitioners, these are really people in the front line when there is emergency and disaster. And on the work of practitioners depends how many lives will be saved, what kind of critical protection infrastructure will be saved also from being damaged. So they have to be equipped with appropriate innovative tools, which facilitate very much the decision-making process. And this is the objective of the trials, to strengthen our preparedness and our abilities to respond more effectively to the future disasters.